Hello everyone, Brian here with Insight Security. Today I'm going to do a quick little tutorial video for you to show you how to add different logins to your alarm.com account. So starting off, I am here on a alarm.com account, the main page, where you have all your little tabs, your widgets, your information, your panel info, and etc, etc. Now, for those of you who are with Insight Security and ADT, this page will look a little different for you. At the top, it might say ADT and some of the colors might be blue instead of orange. Never fear. All of the tabs are basically the same. Now, one important thing to just cover with you before we get started is you have to do this through a web browser. So Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari, any of these will work. This will not work if you are using the Alarm.com app on your phone. It just doesn't have the option there. So, at our main screen here, the first thing you'll want to do is if you just navigate over to the left hand side and scroll on down, you'll see that we have home, notification, activities, and users. This is the one you want to go to here, users. So if you give that guy a click, it'll take you to the users page where it'll show you the different panel information where you have different users that have been signed into the panel. There are four digit codes that are there, emails that are associated with them. The one that we are looking for today is under users at the top here, you'll see there's two tabs, users and manage logins. You want to hit the manage logins button, not the add user button down here. That's strictly for adding in extra codes, which we will not be covering today. The manage logins one is the one you want up here. So once we go over to that, it'll give you a list of everybody who has a login currently, their login name, as well as the email address associated with that name. So to add somebody new, all you have to do is come down here to this add a login button and give that guy a click. It'll then load you up to a new page here where it'll give you the option to put an email address and a login in. So I'm just gonna pop in my email address right here. Da 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 da, oop, boodoosh. And then for the login name, it puts it in automatically as being your email address. You can change this if you want. I personally recommend leaving it as the email address. It just makes things a little bit more simple that way. So once you're done here and everything's set up, you got your email, your log name, and your language preference, just go save. Once you do that, it'll load up to a new login has been created and that little display that we just saw at the top there that disappeared real quick is just letting you know that an email has been sent to this email account saying that they have been added to this account. Now what that email will say, it'll give them a link that'll take them to alarm.com and allow them to log in. They will also find in their email their temporary password. Once the new user has logged in with their temporary password, alarm.com will prompt them to change their password to something new within certain security requirements. Now on your end, there's still one more thing for you to do. If you look down here, once the login has been created, you can control exactly what this new person is able to do. So you can give them different permissions and each one has a different description to it. So master control, users with master control will have all of the permissions of the primary account user, including the ability to manage the website, logins, and change profile information, such as the primary email address and phone numbers for the account, etc., etc. So just give each of these a read through and depending on who it is you are adding, determine which one of these would be the best. If none of these first three look appealing, well, first four look appealing to you, you can always come down to custom and then kind of create your own. When you know what kind of account, what kind of restrictions they're gonna have, then you can just scroll down to the bottom and click save. So for mine, because I'm doing this only as a tutorial, I'm gonna do it as read only which will give me access to look at the account, but won't give me any permissions to change anything. So then I just go down here and I click save. Permissions changed, perfect. Now, as you can see, we have added a secondary email down here, which would be me. And I have added myself to the account. Now I can log in from my phone or my computer anywhere in the world with any Wi-Fi spot, check up the alarm.com account, see what's going on. Thank you everybody for tuning into this tutorial and I hope this has been some help to you. Till next time.